gonna fall off the shelf there. Oh, thanks very much, Theo. Oh, that would have hurt. Ha, my pride, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Frank. Here, uh, let me lend you a paw, huh? Oh, and service, too. <laughs> so, uh, what is all this? Oh, the usual. History books, books of poetry, folk tales, books about our great heroes. So, uh, preparing another lecture, Frank? Oh, that I am. Ha. And to think I became a teacher so I wouldn't have to do any heavy lifting. Oh. <laughs> hey, Gus, you're gonna love this book. It's really cool. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, oh. oh sweetie. Oh. <laughs> Daddy, it was terrible. It was so terrible. It was so terrible. What? What is it, Leona? Yeah, what's the matter, Leona? Oh, we were at the playground, and Leona's friend Tammy called her a nasty name. Oh, oh no. Look, I'm sure she didn't mean it, honey. Yes, she did, she did. She, she, she really hurt my feelings. She meant it. I'm never going back. I'm never going back there again. What? <laughs> Watch how a big brother solves his little sister's problems. Go for it. <laughs> Oh, Leona, it's okay. Sticks and stones will break your bones, but words will never hurt you. That's easy for you to say. You're not the one that's hysterical. Oh. Oh. Well, that went well. Yeah, um, uh, I gotta go. Yeah, um, yeah. Little girl's crying overwhelms me, huh? Mm. Yeah. I'll yeah. See you later, huh? Okay. I've always thought that names can never hurt you. Stuff's a lot of rubbish. Words can be very powerful things. I was just looking into a book about the very subject, and I'm not interfering, I hope. Oh, no, no, not no, at no all, Frank. Frank. Yeah, go right Please. ahead. Ah, it's a lovely old book. Hey, it's just right here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 how the Rats Were Rhymed Out of Ireland by Shannon Shamley, a rat of my own acquaintance, mm. and illustrated by John R. Friedman. Lovely artist, lovely man, lovely, 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 lovely. lovely. Let's see now. Ah. Long ago in the land of Ireland, there were a hundred kings, and every king had his poet. These royal poets were called bards. The bards composed two kinds of poems. First, eulogies, poems of praise to flatter the king. Flatter, 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 flatter. Flatter! Flatter! These made the king feel really good. And there were poems that said very bad things bad, about bad, the king's bad, enemies. Bad, 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 bad. Bad, bad. bad, bad. bad, bad. These made the king feel really good, too. <laughs> The greatest king in all Ireland was named King Connor. Now, one morning when King Connor came down to breakfast, he discovered that his usual egg wasn't there on the table. King Connor made up his mind that a rat had stolen his egg, and it made him very angry. He called for his bard, Lavercam. Bard? Rhyme me a rhyme that'll drive those dratted rats out of Ireland. And Lavercam began to speak. <sighs> rats nasty, putrid, hideous. Rats loathsome, vile, invidious. Rats from your holes, begone. Oh, that hurts. Pack your bags, Siobhan. We don't have to stay here and be called hurtful names. Rat squalid and sneaking, eating garbage and reeking. Rats from your holes, begone! Oh, 
Come on, kids. We're never coming back here again. Oh, wretches more noxious than gnats. I exile and rout from Ireland's castle. From your garbage-filled halls, rats be gone! <laughs> they sailed away, swearing never to return. So, Leona, you're not the first to feel very hurt by insults. See, Lionel? Yeah, I, I see. Yeah, I like the rats. I'm never going back to that playground again. Never, never, never! No, Leona? no, wait, Leona. Uh, yeah, wait, That's not know, the uh... end of the story. Listen, I... Uh, oh, it's not here. It's in volume two. I'll go get it. If words can hurt, I... Yeah! That's it! <gasps> Rats. Ah. Hey, it's standing room only for Martha Reader in the Bow Wow, singing that fabulous short A, A sound in the word hurt. Walter and Clay Pigeon in Cats, with a special appearance by Barnaby B. Busterfield the Third. It's a small part, but crucial to the plot. Um, uh... Meow? Uh, yeah, meow! 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 <clears throat> Track these cats! They're driving me batty! <laughs> Pigeons, don't you just love them? The team called the Madison Cats <laughs> had a terrible problem with rats. Said the catcher, let's see if we swap our for B. We can turn all those rats into bats. And now, Timeless Classic Masterpieces presents another chapter from that saga of the sea, Moby Duck in which Captain Ahab, with the crew of the good ship Peapod, continues his endless search for Moby, the Great White Duck. Call me wacky, but I feel the duck is as close as the hairs on the back of my neck. Methinks our long search will soon be over. Ah. Do you see him, Mr. Starbuck? Do you see the duck? Nay, Captain Wacky, the seas be having a total lack of duck, so to speak. But there be many white caps. And the seas be rough. She quacks. Moby, the great white duck. Arg at last. Nay, Mr. Starbuck. That not be Moby, the great white duck. Arg. Arg. No. Arg. No. Look. See the print on screen there. Crab. Bit. Rabbit. Two syllables, two vowels, and two big ears. 
That be Flappy, the fantastic white rabbit. Arg. I be sorry, Captain. The seas be making me daffy. Well, like I always say at the end of every chapter, Snap Ooh. out of it, matey! Moby, the great white duck, be near, very near. Methinks our search will soon be over. Ah. with the short A, ah, sound in them. And that makes me happy. <laughs> Meet Hannah, Hallie, Mackie, Stan, Alana, Al, Jack and Chan, Ralphie, Max. The name is Sam. And Alfie, Axel, and the Ram. Here's Patches, Gabby, Babs, and Fats, and Satchins, Happy, Gabby's cats. Alejandro, Manny, Candy, Callie, Pandro, Ben, and Brandy. Yeah, 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 what's your name? What's your name? Ram a lamb, ram a lamb, lamb up. 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 Ram a lamb. Ah. Heath. Oh, I need your help. Hey, Lionel. Oh, you need my help. Aid. Assistance, service, sucker, support. <laughs> well, come up here and tell old Heath. Up we go. <laughs> Heath, you've got all the words. I need insulting words that rhyme so I can write a poem like the Bards of Ireland, you know, wrote to hurt their enemies. Ah, oh, insulting words, huh? Well, let's see. Well, I'll take your pick. Uh, in alphabetical order, bad, brat, cad, cranky, drab, Flabby, gas bag, yeah. malefactor, <laughs> rascal, tacky. Oh, yeah, malefactor. Oh. <laughs> Okie dokie, stop worrying. Hmm? Lionel is on the job. Yo. Oh. Leona, here's what you gotta do. You go to that playground, and just like the king's bard, you walk right up to your enemy, uh, uh, Tammy, and you say, roses are red, violets are blue, you're a tacky malefactor. <laughs> wow, tacky malefactor. Oof. You know, I don't approve of your suggestion, Lionel, but... Uh, no, uh, but, but uh, good word power. Mm. Mm. It doesn't rhyme. Well, yeah, but when Tammy hears it, she'll never come back to that playground again. No, and you... yeah. I, I could never say anything to hurt someone. It's, it's just not me. Come on, lovey. Let's go somewhere where we can be ourselves for a while. <laughs> Wait, I think the answer is in that story that Frank read. Yeah? Those bards made up another kind of poem besides the insulting ones. Yes! <laughs> Eulogies! Yes! <laughs> Poems of praise! Yeah! Mm -hmm. yeah come on! <laughs> oh, yeah. We could make up a poem that says really nice things about Leona. Like, Leona's not just nice, she's. she's. fabulous! Uh, uh, we need some words that rhyme with fabulous. Searching, searching. Sorry. There is only one rhyme for fabulous. Tintinabulous, which means sounding like bells. There's going to be one short poem. Mm. <clears throat> and now... A eulogy entitled Leona. To see a cub who has no match, just steal a glance at Leona. Her eyes more bright than any lamp. She is the champ. Yes, she's Leona. Leona, you're perfectly fabulous. Your laugh even sounds tintinabulous. Though poetic, we wax. These are the facts. 
There's no small animal as enchanting as Leona. Leona. So, Leona, you feel better, huh? Playground, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh no, I'm not going back to the playground. You're, You're not? not? Oh, why not? I thought you said you felt better. I do, but well, I can't go back to any place where I'm not wanted. <laughs> Pretty flowers. Oh. If you can read A T at, then you can read. K Chat. And you can read bat and rat, and you can read trat. See, I got you reading with me. All you need is a little AT. If you can read AT at, then you can read fat and flat, and you can read sat and scat, and you can read splat. See, I got you learning with words. Don't you love every app that you've heard? If you can read AT at, then you can read pat and hat, and you can read rat. Again at Blending Field, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir T T and Sir Ag. Ag. Blend on, dude. Gawain's word for today, and this is Gawain saying, Don't be a drag. <laughs> I'll see you next time on Gawain's Word, Gawain's Word.
Now, Leona, you don't have to go back to the playground until you're good and ready. I'm never going back to the playground. Never. But, Leona... Well, that didn't work. Uh, I, I don't know what else to do. Mm. We could force her to go back to the playground. Bad idea. <laughs> Got it. Oh, Leona. Where'd she go? Leona, darling. There you are. Do you want to hear the rest of the story? Well, she might as well. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it, Frank. It's called Tales of the Irish Rats. Volume 2, How the Rats Came Back. Oh. Mm -hmm. they come back. The, the, the rats came back? That's right. The rats came back. Wrap your little ears around this. Oh. Okay. That ship of banished rats hadn't sailed but half a league when one young rat got angry. Up on the prow of the ship she leapt and made a grand oration. Rats! I can't believe my ratty eyes. What's wrong with us? We're Irish rats, aren't we? And what does it mean to be rats? We we live in holes and, and eat garbage. Yes, we live in holes and eat garbage, and that's something to be proud of. Huh? The rats had been so hurt by that poem of insults, they couldn't believe their ears. Those holes are our holes. Are we gonna abandon our holes every time someone says something to hurt us? Well, I don't see why we should. And that garbage is, it's our garbage, I? Huh? Well, no, it's someone else's garbage. But it's we who eat it after they're done with it. That's, that's recycling. We help the planet. I think rats are fantastic. Who disagrees with me? I don't suppose. They'd heard so many bad things about themselves that the rats had forgotten that it wasn't all true. And who agrees with me that rats are fantastic? <laughs> the words are hurtful and may make you feel bad, but they're just words after all. We shouldn't let them stop us from going where we want or following our dreams. Yeah. She's wrong. It's our garbage. Yeah! Let's go back. Yeah. And no, it's not our garbage. Rats turned their ships around and sailed back the way they'd come. To the shore they swam, and back to the castle they went. And that's how the rats came back to Ireland. The end. There, that's the whole story. And the moral of the story is? Uh, just because someone says something that hurts and makes you feel bad shouldn't stop you from going where you want to go and doing what you want to do and following your dream to sit in the sand. Mm. What? what? In the sandbox! In the playground! Come on, oh. Mom! Let's go to the playground! <laughs> to the <laughs> playground! Yeah! <laughs> That's the idea. All right, it worked, Frank. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Well, I like playing in the sandbox. Me too. And I like it too. To the playground! Yeah. To the playground! <laughs> <laughs> and now we return to the exciting conclusion of Pigeon Theatre Works presentation of Cats. Meow! 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 Uh, meow? Uh, yeah! Scat! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. There are games and stories at the Between the Lions website. pbskids.org or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. And that's why he's called... A cliff... Hanger. Right! <laughs> Help a friend get wild about reading. It's cool! Way cool! <laughs> when last we left Cliff...